more product on it. We're going to make we got to make some room, and the best way to make room is either get rid of it or donate it or, or do something nice with it. For the last 20 years, the 3TV Angel Tree has been that something nice. This year, McFarland's Christmas cleanup led to 700 toys, making the journey from storage to a moving truck to the Angel Tree at Arizona Mills come Christmas morning into the hands of children who may not otherwise have a present to open, something he says we can all be a part of. We don't have to donate big stuff, right? Five dollars donations, whatever you can give, is going to put a, you know, a little bit of a pitter patter in some young child's heart. Grab a tag, put a smile on a kid's face, you'll feel good about it. I guarantee you. Now your chance to put that pitter patter in a kid's heart isn't over. Angel Tree Tags will be on the trees through Sunday at 18 malls across Arizona. You just grab a tag, buy a gift, and bring it back to the Angel Tree where a Salvation Army volunteer will make sure that your present gets to a child in need. You know, you can also donate money, and that will be used to buy children's gifts. And remember, your present will stay hyper-local. It will be given to a child in the area where you donated it. Back to you. And here's the malls that are involved in our Christmas Angel program. Here's the Mills, Arrowhead Town Center, Camelback Colony, Chandler Fashion Center, Chris Town Spectrum Mall, where it all began 30 years ago, and the Promenade at Casa Grande. Also at Desert Sky Mall, Fiesta Mall, Flagstaff, Metro Center, Outlets at Anthem, Paradise Valley Mall, Dave and Busters at yeah. Desert Ridge Marketplace, Tempe Marketplace, oh. Prescott Gateway Mall, Scottsdale Fashion Square, Superstition Spring Center, and Santan Village. So lots of opportunities to help. Yeah, okay, 3TV is getting exciting. Gearing up for the College Bowl games, we are the exclusive home of your 2016 Fiesta Bowl Parade. That's right. Saturday, January 2nd. Our Good Morning Arizona crew will be out along the route. All the action and our live coverage starts at 11 a.m. right here on 3TV. We'll also stream the parade coverage on 3TV News out for you. And I'm sure it's pretty far out for them to tell right now what the weather will be. Thursday, 58 degrees and it's mostly like sunny. Pulling that from your head. Forecasting. <laughs> yeah, that's sure. right. Forecasting at its best. Yes. All right, so. Uh, it's just, a little chilly. Yeah, 58 yeah, degrees. It's going to be chilly. Can you just warm that up? Yeah, we are warming things up for this weekend. This one we got nailed down, folks. Tomorrow morning, in fact, is going to be even uh, warmer than we had the last couple of mornings around Metro Phoenix with temperatures in the upper 30s to right around 40 degrees by 8 a.m. Some light winds out of the east, so a little bit chilly, but it will seem mild compared to the past couple of mornings. At Sky Harbor today, got to 58 degrees. The morning low was 36. The average high, 65 degrees. And the record on today's day, 82. We did that in 2013. At the airport right now, it's 48. The air is calm. The dew point's at 31. And the relative humidity is at 52%. So much milder this hour compared to 24 hours ago. Anthem is in the 30s, as is Maricopa, but it's 46 at Mesa, 45 at Scottsdale right now. Still 50 at Glendale, and 47 is the current reading for Levine. In the high country, 27 at Winslow, 16 above at Sholo, 23 at Payson right now, and Prescott is just below freezing. Well, this big cold air mass is beginning to moderate and drift a little bit to the east. You can see we're below freezing in Chicago. Yesterday, we were a lot warmer in the Chicago area, and that cold air continues to make its way toward the eastern seaboard, but still a bit of a flip-flop New York City and Boston, both warmer than we are right now. A little bit of rain and some snow mixed into northern portions of New England. New storm system coming on shore in the Pacific Northwest. Some rain and snow associated with that. Uh, though for us, over the next couple of days, that's not going to be an impact at all. We're just going to see a ridge of high pressure float over Arizona. Main storm track will begin to shift away, and as will that cold air that has been driven down into Arizona for the past several days on the backside of our weekend storm system. So tomorrow morning, clear skies. Tomorrow afternoon, a little bit of high cloudiness out there. But the uh, real changeover in the air mass is on uh, Saturday, and you'll see why. We get some high clouds coming out of the subtropics, and with that, we will be warmer. Temperatures up around 70 degrees out ahead of another cold front. That storm system about to move in Saturday night into Sunday morning will cool us back down, but it doesn't look like it's going to bring us much in the way of any kind of precip. 38 tomorrow morning at Apache Junction and at Fountain Hills. Scottsdale is going to be down around 37 degrees and 33 for the low at Ahwatukee. Midtown, we'll call it 38 with fair skies. Then for tomorrow, a mostly sunny day, and it should be warmer with a high temp of 67 degrees. We're forecasting 70 for the high on Saturday, and then temperatures head right back down, but not so bad. We'll be in the mid-60s through the middle of next week.
Royal, thank you. Well, uh, racking up debt is pretty easy, especially during the holidays. And apparently, we aren't very debt savvy here in the Valley. Lindsay Reiser explains. According to Smart Asset, the average family in Phoenix has more than $29,000 in debt. That's more than the national average, but there are ways to get rid of it sooner than you think. When we got married, we decided we didn't want to be burdened with that debt very long, so we got real serious and very intentional. Trevor Stutz went to school to be a physical therapist, his wife a physician's assistant. Together, they accrued nearly $80,000 of debt. The most important thing we did was um, set a budget. It's amazing, I think, um, where your money goes, and we didn't always know the answer to that. They cut out eating out, shopping, and a few other luxuries to pay off that debt in a year. We live in a smaller apartment, and as you can see, um, we live in, a, in pretty tight quarters. It's pretty cozy, but that's actually been kind of fun, and that's it's been a way to save some money. Once you have a budget, figure out what you can trim. So go line by line and say, how can I make this smaller? Call your service providers and say, hey, you know, is there a better promotion out there for my satellite or for my cell phone bill? Deacon Hayes with Well Kept Wallet says, if you only pay the minimum payment on your debt, it could take decades to get out of the hole with added interest. And with an average credit score of 654, Deacon says Venetians have room for improvement. It could have a very positive impact on the economy if every Phoenix as a whole decides, hey, we're going to take control of our debt and we're going to make better choices with our money uh, to be able to do more in life. And one of the big lessons I guess we've learned is that we really don't need as much as we thought we did before. A lot of the things that we were able to cut out were just wants. In Phoenix, Lindsay Riser, 3TV. Okay, take a look at this. It's the toy <laughs> Millennium Falcon spaceship flying over the city tonight. Kind of. This was our Penguin Aaron Plumbing News Chopper. Right as the sun was setting, something fun for all you Star Wars fans out there. What do you think, Tim? Joey, <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, sports coming up next. If you are a sports fan in the Valley, we are about to embark on an epic stretch. I've got the details uh, on that. Tonight, the Kyrie's on home ice.